Day 3, MB16 2019, Sunday the 1st of December. You can properly trim up now if you want to. <laughs> okay, it's just about half seven and there's no frost and it's calm and it's not that cold. Well, it's not warm, but it's not that cold. So I'm going to go with it anyway, that way. I don't want to do with the guest the spoons, but there's only one in Hereford, so it's the king's fee. Just gone nine o'clock. Actually, 9.09. I'm slipping. But I was recording the Beano cast, which will probably be out tomorrow. Anyway, this is Red Nosed Rain Beer by Cotley. 4.5% alcohol by volume. It does mention nutty. I can't remember nutty in a beer since a long time ago with bass. Nowadays, not so much nutty mess around. Nice bit of flooring. So. Hmm, rich, fruity, malty. I suppose there is a bit of nuttiness in there, but not a great deal. I'm gonna say, B plus in a bit. 3.3 for the rich fruity maltiness. Oh, Merry Christmas. So I tried Hogarth and none of the cascades were on. All the pump clips were turned around. From in Yates, where we have a pint of Rudolph from Banks. 3.8% alcohol by volume. Nice bit of flooring, Mr. Man. And a Christmas tree. Malty, fruity, a bit sweet, very festive. I would say B plus, 3 out of 5, cause, well, there you go. There's a cat. Oh. Today's discussion German beers in bottles. Where is the actual name? Which is the actual name? It turns out that's where it is. Maria Hilfe Ulukenten, which apparently is Enlightenment. Uh, and it's not that one. And that's the brewery. Thank you to Johnny and thank you to Untapped. Anyway, I don't know what the. I'm looking for the alcohol by volume. I think it's 4.5, he said, having looked at untapped. I'll come back to you, because life's too short anyway. Oh, nice glass, way. The sun is quite warm, but if you're out of the sun, it's quite cold. Mm. Nice and malty, sweet malt. That's a great start. B plus plus. 3.5. No need to worry. I've consulted and tapped and I have been advised by Johnny, who knows these things. This is last hurrah from Cloudwater. I need to go to Manchester. 6% alcohol by volume and New Zealand hops. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there. Mmm, smells nice. Mmm. Some sort of bittersweet, fruity, into tropicality. I know. B plus plus three point. Nice. Solid. Still a little bit German. Tegensee Pills, Rachel's Tegensee, which is in Bavaria, which is cold, and it's a big lake. 
but that's from my host. See, Jamin. Even if I have a U, never mind. Anyway, 5% alcohol by volume. It looks nice outside. I think it's nippy plus. Nippy for this country, obviously. Mmm. That's malty. Slightly sweet. Slightly B plus plus. I like that a lot. The Germans do malt. <coughs> yep. The malt is the finish. We're going to Sweden. We're going to Wild East. We're going to gluten free. Beer Kuit Beer AG Pink Passion. 4.7% alcohol by volume. 3 o'clock. And the windows are beginning to slightly steam up. That means it's beginning to get a little bit cold outside. Probably about an hour away from sunset. Mm. It has that earthy, fruity, tart aroma. I want to be a director. It's sharp, fruity, tart, slightly acidic, slightly wonderful. Three plus plus. Three point seven. Because it's really good. Cloud water. Cloud water glass. Cloud water pale ale, four percent alcohol by volume. Ooh. Look at that. That's cold outside. Mmm, fruity aroma. Mmm. Really good, complex, fruity, tropical. I like that. We're just trying to find somewhere to go Christmas. That's a B plus plus. Three point seven. Cause ooh, tropical tangerine, better finish, lingering.